Okay, this is just a quick video to show you how to edit your PHP INI file uh, to make your errors show up. You want to make sure that you have that turned on because when you have an error on a page, say you're doing some PHP and you want to view the web page that the PHP is doing something to, um, if you have any type of errors, especially fatal errors, you're going to see just a blank page and you're not going to have any idea what to do. So if you turn the errors on, then it will print an error at the top of the page and at least tells you the line number and it gives you uh, some sort of sometimes a cryptic message on what the area is, but at least it gives you a target of where to go. And so uh, in the book, starting on page 103, I get into how to do the PHP INI file, and then I continue it down here. Um, and on 104, I have turned off errors, warnings, and notices, and I just uh, walk you through what to do. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and jump over to my screen right here. I've already logged in as root. Now, if you're going to be changing your PHP INI file, you don't have to log in as root, but um, you should log in as root. And then that way, uh, you don't have to worry about writing any of the pseudo, you know, pseudo vim or anything like that. And then I went to the directory um, uh, etc php. Now, in this particular case, I'm on 7.2. Uh, in the book, I have 7.0. That was just where it was at that point in time. And it doesn't really matter. It's going to be 7 point something. It will always be different. And it's going to be Apache 2. And once I uh, get to this directory, if I just uh, look at everything in this directory right here, you can see I have php.ini file right there. Okay, That is what I want to change. So if I write vim and then I do the php.ini file, which is this right here, okay, and I hit enter, it's going to open up this file for me. And I know you can't see some of this um, purple text here. It's a little hard on the screen, but it's um, just some comments. What you want to look for is you want to look for where your error logs are, all right, or where your display errors. And you can see display startup errors is off. But if I come up here a little bit, I have display errors uh, equals on. Now, you might have to scroll up or down on this page to be able to find this, but you're looking specifically for display errors equals, uh, in your case, it will say off. It will not say on. So what you want to do to change that is you just press the I key on your keyboard, and that makes it go into insert mode. And then you just come over here and you can just write on or you can write off, which of course you want to write on. I'm just showing you what you can do. Okay, and then um, when you're done with uh, doing your edits, you just hit the escape key. And then you do the um, colon and W, Q, and hit enter. And now you save the file. So that's all been done. You've updated the file, but you still have to do one more step. And that's talked about right here in the manual where you have to write service apache 2 restart and so you would come here i'm not going to do it in this video i don't need to but you'd write service apache 2 restart and that will restart your apache server and you need to do that um, otherwise the changes that you made to the file will not take effect once you've done that then you're going to be able to see errors uh, and warnings on your actual page and you're not going to be just seeing a blank page with nothing there so it'll help you out quite a bit that's it